They're under the starters' orders now, and they're away. So it's Warren Frey, uh, the South African, always sporting that bandana and white vest. The Birchfield Harrier goes straight to the front, which is what all the athletes would have wanted. And don't want to be messing about. And Warren Frey, more than equipped to deal with 61 and 202. And as they come round, I'll look to pick out some of the early leaders, but it'll be interesting to see how Patrick Diva gets on. Um, national under-20 indoor champion, as well as having a fantastic cross-country season as well. So much credit to his coach, Andy Bibby, who's obviously clearly got him in fantastic shape. But at the moment, it's Stuart King of Mansfield who's leading the way. We've also got Patrick Paddy Radley also in there, Scott Pilkington, as they go through 300 metres. Just ahead of, uh, Ryan Moore. But Warren Frey seems to be getting a slight bit of a gap. I'm not sure if he slightly surged there. Maybe he sensed he was a bit slow in terms of pace. But Warren Frey goes through in 61, just as the aspirate. He's got around about a 10 to 15 minute gap. Sorry, 10 to 15 minute gap now from uh, the from the Mansfield Stuart King. I think maybe a little surge there because he was a bit concerned he wasn't going to hit the pace. But I can see closely shot following up on King is a sale Harrier Ryan Moore and under 20. He has a personal best from last year, 354, 358 this season. So he'll looking to be get back on that. I can see also Chris Harvey, the Kennick and Stafford athlete. He's also in there. But Warren Frey, the pacemaker's got quite a big lead now, around about 15 minutes, so 15 metres. 189 is a Stroud athlete, which is Aaron Phelps, an under 23. He's ran 354. <coughs> Kelvin Gomez, the Gibraltar international athlete, currently based at Loughborough University, so sporting the African violent this evening. He is just outside four minutes in terms of a personal best, so that'll be a big target for him this, this evening. And Warren Frey takes them through around about 2-3, 2-4. So a little slower, but to be honest with you, given the talent and the season's best and personal best, this is probably a little more realistic for these guys. If anyone's looking to get at least around about 355, 62s is more what they should be looking for at these early stages. So Ryan Moore leads from Aaron Phelps, a Stroud athlete. As they come round to around about 1,000 metres to go, 500 metres, Brett Halliwell is another Stroud athlete. So two Stroud athletes are in, the, in contention at the moment. But at the moment, it's Ryan Moore, under 20 from Sale Harrier. He's leading the way. He's ran 3.54 last year. Looking by judge at the bell, a personal best can potentially could be on if they look to. But Nicholas Lingy now wins the Slough and Heat, and he moves up 3.52 at the bell. 2.52 even, Nicholas Lingley. Winterslough eating in a Hounslow athlete based at Loughborough. He's come onto the shoulder, but he doesn't want to go past more yet. He's determined, he's actually now, as we enter into the back straight, it's Nick Lingley who's moving through now. Lingley's got around about a 10 meter gap there. He's surging through for it. He, all, he has a personal best of 354 himself, as I said, most of these athletes, but he's got a big gap now as he hits with 200 metres to go, 322. So potentially a personal best if he can continue this pace. The chase is on for second, has got a hole. Patrick Devers is in there, I can see. And it's good to see uh, the Mansfield Harrier, Stuart King. He's rallying back, the early leader. He's now coming into the shoulder for second. But Nicholas Lingley is going to come away with this victory, potentially. But no, he also is Stuart King is coming in. The Mansfield Harrier looks like he's going to do it. The times he's finished to perfection. The Mansfield Harrier takes victory in a new personal best at 3.53. Perfectly timed finish there, so just outside his personal best, but a massive season's best there for Stuart King, the Massville Harry.